<laughs> it's time for the Peter Channel Late Night News for this Tuesday, July 20th, 2015. Good evening, everybody. I'm Peter Wiggins here. I got news at 9 and our top story at 11.30 p.m. Here is... In Washington, where the nation is ready to turn the page from years of financial hardship, as President Obama said on Tuesday during his State of Union message tonight at the U.S. Capitol as he used... The speech to promote an ambitious program of middle class economics to the face of the new Republicans. Senator Rand Paul, elected GOP presidential candidate, took on the duties of a one man rep response team at Pence on President Obama's State of Union address on multiple platforms. President Obama also asked Congress to begin to lift an embargo against Cuba during the State of the Union address this evening in Cuba. We are ending a policy that was long past its expiration date. In Tokyo, Asian shares held firm in the Euro state under pressure on Wednesday as investors counted on the European Central Bank to unveil a stimulus draft which the yen jumped after the Bank of Japan left policy unchanged. In San Francisco, Google likes its ambitions got high. This time it has gone a little further. The internet giant, along with its infidelity, has become $1 billion invested in its space expansion technologies. The private record company founded by Elon Musk. Prime Minister Shinzo Abe is second help from the Middle Eastern nations to help save two Japanese hostages at Islamic State. Prime Militants threatened to kill on Friday if Japan doesn't pay $200 million ransom. The UN Security Council on Tuesday called for a full and lasting ceasefire in Yemen as Security Council condemned the attack on June 19th from the presidential house in Sana'a. In tonight's State of Union, President Obama called for a congressional resolution of in his use of military force against ISIS terrorist organization which has seized control of large parts of Iraq and Syria. Paris Mayor, Paris Mayor Anne Hidalgo to CNN on Tuesday that she may sue the Fox News because the network insulted the city with its coverage of no-go zones that are supposedly only for Muslim residents. Five residents of Chechen region were arrested in a Herat department of Southern France yesterday. Police said they discovered extremely dangerous explosives in their possessions. Dr. Michael Davidson, a cardiovascular surgeon, was shot twice in the second floor of Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston this morning and has died. In Washington, the U.S. Senate may have not have risen from recession quite as resonant as President Barack Obama suggested in the State Union speech in Tuesday night. Iowa Senator Joni Ernst said voters sent a loud and clear message from the midterm elections and pledged to forge ahead with Red Republican legislative agenda or GOP message response to President Obama's State of Union. Netflix incorporated out of 4.3 million net subscribers to its TV and movie streaming service worldwide in the fourth quarter, helped by expansion of new markets sharing and its shares soon and after market trading. Students are regarded a company that FAFSA formed the free application of federal student aid in order to get aid from the federal and local governments. Gold bars from the vault of a bank seen in an illustration picture taken in Zurich in November 2014 as gold hits five months. I and ECB similar words. The United States still did the United States kill OPEC, the plumbing and price of oil since Saudi Arabia decided last fall not to cut its inflation production and to counter present supply elsewhere has fueled intense speculation about a downfall of the infamous cartel once viewed for its part of Ben. Okay, take a look at the stock market report. Dow Jones 17, 15, 23, up 3.66. SP5 2022.55 up 3.13 and NASDAQ 4654.85 up 20.46. Microsoft today updated its preview of Outlook in the Mac that teased an offer for Office 365 subscribers more than two months ago as Tuesday that was the first email account which supports a stream on user interface when will look and work. I do. Feature will have Facebook users report hoax stories appearing on the news feed, but Facebook is be sure to remove the content instead of offering a warning to readers. In summer, writer and director Ava Devane lifts the page from the high school history textbook, even left to a single episode that tells a larger story. It's probably time to come to terms that the fact that, yes, all young Harwood and BFFs are, yes, as Justin Bieber's capable of just being friends with the ladies. Dawn's scheduled to arrive at Sarah's March 6th is expected to provide crucial insights into the process of the play of the solar system in the most dark planet. Researchers have found a key that may unlock the only library class 
Well, antiquity to survive along with its documents raised on a least a possibly recovering vanished works of ancient Greek and Roman authors such as the lost books of Libby's history. In Atlanta Beach, California, at least 23 unvaccinated students have been sent home to an Orange County High School after a student was confirmed to be infected with measles. The percentage of King County consumers in Washington State were said that they saw and used posted calorie information for restaurant meals tripled from 8% in 2008 to 25% in 2010 a year after mandatory labeling took effect. Doctors performed first ever infant organ transplant. Okay. Messages say police troopers investigate a fatal crash of Morris Spencer as a vehicle traveling the wrong way on the off ramp from Route 2 West by Nexus 27 was struck by a truck through trailer. In Old Orchard Beach, Maine, a third alarm at American Hotel 1, he street is heavy fire, 4 2 excessive, M8 to the scene. In Harwich, Massachusetts, a road closure Route 6 closed between exit 1011 and westbound lane opened to mercy traffic only. And in Bristol, Massachusetts, Mr. Person last seen at approximately 2 p.m. in the area of Route 124, the Harbor Ridge, Bristol Town Line. A six year old female unknown directs to travel no clothing description given, and multiple towns that safely searched for the area by ground, air, and boat. Peter Channel News on 1136, 10 and a half, driver reporter, and smoke sound and always in New England there. Peter Channel News on 1136. And it is time now for a weather reporter on this late Tuesday night here. Overnight, it's going to call for both skies skies early, then becoming clear skies lower than 16 degrees, light northwest wind. But Wednesday, it creates skies behind the 34 degrees, light and variable wind. What's that? Slight chance of snow showers after midnight, most of the skies lower than 21 degrees, northward about 3 to 6 miles, but chance of space to 20%. But Thursday, slight chance of snow showers before noon, skies got about 35 degrees, northward about 6 miles, but chance of space to 20%. For that, most of the cast got a low about 90 degrees. Northwest were about 3 to 6 miles apart. For Friday, most of the side of the got about 34, low about 21 degrees. For Saturday, it changed the rain. The chance of rain is still on Saturday night. Partly Saturday skies. To most of the cast got about 37, low about 23 degrees. Chance of perspiration 30 to 40 percent. For Sunday, most of the side of the got about 34, low about 14 degrees. For Monday, punch of water after 10 a.m. Most of the rise. Partly Saturday skies about 31 degrees. My night, chance of snow, punch of was most of the cars got low about 18 degrees. Chance of perspiration 30%. And for Tuesday, punch of was most of the cars got high about 31 degrees. Not that you're saying that 30, 30 degrees with first cars. And that is going to be it for the period chill. Late night news of this. Tuesday, January 12th, 2015. Period is a good night with a good positive to be seated tomorrow morning. Good night.